Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony with Anthony's Customs with a DC Universe Classics review. This is, I think, this Wave 16, uh, Azrael Batman. It might not be 16, I'm not 100% sure. I know it came in the Bane Wave with Riddler and Robin and all the, those guys, Creeper. So, I'm not 100% sure on the number, but that's the wave it came in. It's actually a pretty impressive figure, but there are some problems. Stands at 7 inches tall, so he's, at the head he's actually like 8 and a uh, seven and a half at the uh, wings or whatever you call those. So he's got really good size to him. The paint on him is really nice. All the blues are nice and metallic and pearly. The gold's metallic. The silver part of the torso is metallic. And then the gray on the legs is uh, shaded nicely. So silver's metallic. The red's glossy. Red up there. So the paint app's really nice. This could have used a little bit of paint, but that's not a big deal. These arm things are nice and flexible and soft so they don't get in the way of the articulation. The head, even though it's on a swivel, has almost no articulation to it just because of the collar there. These don't have any sort of articulation. It would have been cool to be able to like fold them out, I think, but eh, no big deal. Uh, they are separately sculpted and they are somewhat flexible, so it's nice enough. Shoulder articulation, big ball joint like normal, no bicep swivel up there. It is in the elbows there with the elbow hinge, which is okay. It's fine by me. And then the hand is on a uh, swivel and a pivot. Same for both hands. So decent enough there. I mean, it's somewhat uh, hindered by the sculpt, but that's okay because you have to have the sculpt, obviously. Ab crunch just like normal, waist twist like normal, thighs like normal, all standard DC. Thigh swivel there. He does have the double jointed knees, so that I really, really, really like. I hated that about the DC Universe Classics. That old style knee joint was just ugly and didn't have the range of motion. This looks like a kneecap. It, they can stand up much nicer and they look much better without having their legs completely bent weird or whatever. Uh, standard ankle articulation still. No ankle rocker. So it's uh, it's good. I wish the head had more articulation. And uh, the arms, it would have been nice if you could ha get a little bit more posing out of them. But it's more than enough, I think. It's a really cool looking figure. Definite must buy for Batman fans. Very nice display piece. He's just big and impressive. So it's easily worth buying. A lot of detail on the figure. Sculpt is good. Definitely recommended. So there you have it. Azrael Batman DC Universe Classics. I do recommend you pick him up. You won't be disappointed. Very nice looking figure. Thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for more reviews and more custom figures. And in the meantime, keep collecting.